Hello, in this video, I will use FOH100 Pro g Tester to check a splitter. And here, I simulate a test environment. This is the splitter 128. Uh, this port is the input of the splitter, and uh, this eight ports are the out ports of the splitter. And we can see after the out ports, uh, there are some, some ports are occupied. These ports are blanket. These are occupied. And the occupied fiber, uh, we can see there are three online on you. This one online, this one online, and this one is online on you. And this one is unregistered on you. We can see the pong light is flash. This is the pong, uh, this is the unregistered on you. And uh, this on you is power off. It's power off. And this port, this port is there is no no fiber, no fiber connected. This is no on you. Okay, we can see the ONU stator very clear here, but in the field, it's difficult. So we use this tester to check the splitter stator. Okay, first, uh, first I connect our tester before the splitter. This is the import, import cable. Unplug this import and insert to the OLT port. And use another patch code Another patch code. Connect the ONU port. This the left one, and to the and to the splitter input. Okay, now our tester is connected before the splitter. Before the splitter, and we can see the downstream power meter is minus one point five five dBm. And now we can see the online ONU number is three, and and now we can uh, it it means there are three online ONU after this splitter, and now we connect our uh, APP to the device. Connect to Bluetooth. Okay, and uh, we now we add a splitter four, and here we want to uh, select the test location and the splitter uh, type according to your test environment. Now we test. Uh, now what? Uh, now my test location is before the second splitter, so we choose here, and the splitter type is one to eight. Okay. Okay, and wait a few seconds. Wait a few seconds, and all the online on you and the unregistered on you will display on the uh, mobile phone app. The waiting time is according to your online on you number. Uh, usually, uh, when you check a one to eight uh, splitter, usually you need to wait around twenty seconds. Now the all the online on you and the unregistered on you is displayed on the mobile phone app, and we can click here to display all the online on you and the unregistered on you. Just click here, okay. Online on you and the unregistered on you. Okay, then I want to check the output of the splitter one by one. Okay, first I check the first port. Uh, this port is the first one. I just unplug this first port, and now we can observe the mobile phone app. Now we can see here the markable. The markable number is changed from the zero to one. It means uh, after this after this port, there is online on you or or unregistered on you. I click port one. And we choose mark port, and this is the serial number of this port. And I click, click this serial number to fill in the port one. Okay, occupied, and the status is online. Online information serial number and the downstream and the upstream power meter. Okay, then I unplug back. 
unplug back the first port. Okay, then next next port, the port two, unplug. Then we also observe the markable. Okay, from change from zero to to one. Okay, click port two and mark ports. Click the serial number. Okay, plug back the plug back the fiber and the port three. Now we can observe the markable. Uh, okay, change from zero to to one. Mark port, fill in the serial number. And the next one is the uh, port 4. Okay, the mark ball is the 1, and we click port 4 and mark port. Okay, next, the port 5. This is the port 5. Unplug the port 5. And now we observe the markable number to see whether it is changed from 0 to 1. Wait around the 5 seconds to 15 seconds. If the markable number does not ch change from 0 to 1, it means uh, there is no online ONU or unregistered ONU after this port. This port may be no ONU or fiber break or offline. Okay, then this port, okay. this port we need to check after the splitter. So this port we need to, uh, this port is pending, is pending. Okay, next is the port 6 and the port 7. This is the van kit. So we can directly import van kit. Seven port van kit. Okay, next one is the port eight. Unplug it. And also we uh, observe the markable number to check whether it is changed from zero to one. Wait around five to 15 seconds. If the number does not change from zero to one, it means this port is no on you offline or break. We need to check this pending port after the splitter one by one. Okay, the markable does not change. I unplug, plug back the fiber. Okay, and now we can see uh, all the online on you and the unregistered on you is checked. Uh, only for port five and port eight are pending port, and then we need to connect our tester. Uh, after the splitter. Okay, now I connect our tester after the splitter. I plug back the fiber. Okay, and next, first I want to check the port 5. Port 5. Okay, I unplug, unplug the port 5 fiber and insert to the ONU port. And another patch code connect the OLT port and the, okay now I need to change the test location I click the map and I select select the test location to after the splitter okay okay then I check the port 5 port 5 and I uh, click occupy the test The testing will take around 30 seconds. Okay, we can see the Port 5 status is occupied and this is the offline because port 5 is connected to the this on you is the power off. Okay, and the next I will check the port eight port eight. Also connect the uh, tester after the splitter. Unplug the port eight fiber and insert to the ONU port. 
and another patch code connect to the port 8. Okay, and I click port 8, occupy test. The test also will take around 30 seconds to judge whether it is power off, or whether it is offline, or no ONU, or fiber break, or maybe it is a log ONU. Okay, the test result is this is no ONU. Okay, now we can see all the eight ports are checked, and we now we need to save the information, save the, this stability information. We can click here, sorry, we can click here and save information. And I create a new form file and the file name maybe uh, splitter. Splitter stator. And sure, and import the ORT, uh, the ORT name and the pound name. If you do not know the ORT and the pong, pong name, you can skip it. Okay, sure. Okay, the file save complete. And we can check the Excel format file in our storage. Okay, we can see this is a test result. The first is the splitter name and the splitter mode and the from the one to eight splitter ports output. And here is the uh, every port status. Occupied and the detail information online, 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 unregistered and the serial number and here is the test location and here is the test time status okay and uh, okay now this 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 splitter is checked this splitter is checked and now we need to check the next uh, splitter and we can uh, click new form click a new form and to create a new splitter type okay this is the whole process how to check a splitter use our yfoh 100 pro gpunk tester